that we get on well. Yeah, you know I didn't I mean? expect that. So it's that. mutual benefits, just so it's yeah. like frenzy benefits, but. Not Good people! A subscriber started a clothing line called Go Hard Gymwear, I think. And basically, this is one of the items. I feel like this is what Superman would wear if he was black and from the hood. Because he's like a red and blue hoodie and it makes you look massive. And uh, the one thing I'll say is that this is quite big. This is the medium, so I probably won't be rocking this myself because it is pretty big. So I'm gonna switch to one of the other garments. But what I want to say is for one of the next two videos, is you guys really enjoyed the enjoyed, enjoyed the video I did about my car and like the, the money aspect of it, how much it costs to run, and all that kind of stuff. Like, what I'm going to do next, because on Instagram you guys voted for it, it's gonna be um a video more about like how to make side hustles and make money alongside whatever job you're doing or just how to make money on the side that's how I pay for my traveling and all if it's not fundamental to my life and it's just extra stuff that I would like to do that's kind of fun stuff you gotta make that money on the side so I'm gonna do a video on that so stay tuned for that and if you want to see it please let me know down below hashtag money moves oh Cardi B hashtag money moves and what I'm gonna do right now though is do my abuelas food shopping I'll probably show you some pickups I get but right now what I'm gonna do is snack on some blueberries and also this uh Protein chocolate chunk bar. Don't tell me how you know it would be like this all along. If you haven't gathered yet, we are in Tesco right now. So hopefully, I can do my food shopping and show you a little pickups what I get. Anyways, we are at my nan's now to just drop off the stuff. Um, and this is gonna be like a quick thing before I move on to the rest of the vlog. But the last video, I think someone asked me what I would like to achieve one day. They said six months, but one thing I would love to, if this could ever possible, I wish that I was caking it in so much with money that I could just like buy my nana flies to Jamaica and just take it to Jamaica with my family. That would be dope. I'm not in the position to do that by any means currently. That is something I would love to be able to do one day just because my nan hasn't been back a yard. I don't even think she's been back to Jamaica this whole time I've been alive on Earth. You, if you want to know what I bought from shopping, all I really bought was almond milk so I can start having my granola and bran flakes and some bun for a burger because I'm going to make turkey burgers late, later probably. saying after a week of bullshit but considering that's six days of junk food and no gym I thought I'd be more puffed up like I feel puffed up but I thought I'd look more visually puffed up anyways because I feel it what I'm gonna do is skip <laughs> To this English weather. Oh, fuck. Rain, rain. Flipping hell. Oh, bloody English weather. Anyways, people, that was a quick little workout. The proper footage will be tomorrow when I train with. Oh, uh, well, you know, in the scene thumbnail. All the weights tomorrow if you don't know who he is. But boy, in terms of the gym, that was my first session in a week. And people always ask me, like, when you kind of fall off the gym a little bit, how do you get back into it? The best advice I always say is that throw yourself into the actual gym with full force, but once you get there, just do what you can. If your stamina is not there as much or whatever, don't be ashamed for the first week or so. Just kind of cut down the duration, like cut off. If you train normally like an hour 30, just do an hour. Then after a while, I'll come back to you. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. You ain't got to see me cook or anything today. But let's go to tomorrow. There's a fresh day and I'm not breathing. Like a hippo. See you guys tomorrow. Why is good people? Straight into the video. Right now we're about to train. I'm actually unsure what we're training. As you know, this is my second day back in the gym in a while. But who we're training with today is Bell underscore lifts on Instagram. Hello. Oh, look at that. I got her back again. And this is what I'm telling you. This is how you flip money here. Yeah? She's came to purchase my old uh, tripod that I'm not using anymore. 
you change it. This is how you make money, people. Hot, cold, hard cheddar. Uh, so yeah, what do you want to train? I haven't been to the gym in a couple of days as well because I haven't been well. So literally anything. I don't mind doing that. Tomorrow's when I'm going to start my proper split again. Yeah, yeah, same thing. We're probably going to do a bit of everything right now. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do is basically try and show different exercises. Then seeing as today's not like my full normal split. So I'm going to try to show you different exercises that I haven't uh, probably done in the video before. And just trying to mix it up and do something and be different. And I'm also stay to the end of the video because I'm going to do some intellectual uh, conversation. I don't really feel no. Yeah. Gucci gang, Louis gang, Fendi gang, Dolce gang, Sachi gang, Prada gang, lot of gangs. I don't really fuck with no brand names. Join about to go on a rampage. Ooh, they don't wanna see me let the chopper bang. Yeah, get this bitch jumping like shopper rank. Ooh, what's a little pump to a rocket flame? Yeah, turn your pink dreads in the pocket chain. Yeah, all you new rappers don't be talking about shit except doing drugs. Wonder how you got a name? Yeah, sipping lean, take an E, Percocet, purple drink, Xanax, everything sound the same. Fuck, bunch of drug addicts in the house of pain. Ooh. Hope you niggas suffer till you pop a van, yeah This shit made your mother wanna ovulate, yeah This shit make your doctors wanna stop a train Gucci, Whoa. Fendi, Louis, Prada, Dolce. Dolce Back when I was broken, no one know me Whoa. I couldn't afford it and now that I got the money I don't even want this shit cause it ain't for me I always been myself, you don't know me Whoa. Yeah, I was so depressed, I was lonely <laughs> The man on the horse, all I had was Ralph Lauren Then I went inside a deal and bought a pony Right now what I'm about to do is a landmine press uh, It's meant to get that titty action uh, It's basically zoom in close, I can see it Then I can put my top back on and start being a douche <laughs> Yeah, I'm taking it back and then I'm smacking you bitches and laughing and I'm kidding, I'm hacking and I'm sending your body right back to them. You wonder what's happening? I'm flipping new syllables, acronyms. I guess I'm a practice and you fuckers are fucking embarrassing. You ain't gonna be happy when I'm on top and I'm gonna be popping or you gonna be dropping like birds dropping. So you hold it like that. Nah, you're doing it wrong, so. I was talking about this. Hold it so you cough it. Yeah. And then try and make sure you're under it. So yeah, yeah. And still hold on the edge. Go to the edge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that. This is another episode of TJ Teaches Bell. <laughs> In a minute, we're gonna cut to the Eddie, but I'm gonna keep roll for a bit. Baby. Bunch of kids in the high chair, couldn't get a buzz even if you had light here. Wouldn't get no love even if your heart's right here. Niggas got guns, so nobody want to fight fair. No, hit them with the Ric Flair and a suplex. I ain't never been scared, but you're ruthless. Raised by the ghetto, no some game. When it comes to isolated arm exercises, be sure to start with your weakest arm first. That's like 101. I didn't know that. Yeah, because you want to, like, say if your weak arm only gets eight reps. On your right arm, you should only be doing 8 reps max. You don't want to do 8 with that arm, 10 with that arm, and slowly make this arm way bigger and stronger. Your roof less raised by the ghetto. Know some games that I get them, split them right down the middle like a fucking duplex. Break a nigga toes, make him do the two step. Crib full of hoes, now I feel like you have got a bad stripper bitch. All we do is have sex, and she loves sucking dick, so I call her loose neck. Whoa. Making a panic with my shit, and I'm flipping the banisters. I'm ready to handle and dismantle and crushing and vanishing. I hit him and slam him in the walls, and I got him enchanted in my fucking hands, and I'm holding hammer, banging the salmon, killing him in the ambulance. They're dying, they bleeding, they traveling. I'm really sick, and I got him stiff as a fucking mannequin. I paint a picture with castle vision all on my cellophane. and I got him swinging, they on my dick and grabbing my pants again. I own a dog's threads, why do Guys, right, you see Val down there repping it out. She was telling me she couldn't move it. She didn't even try it before she said she couldn't do it. And now she's repping it out easy, so now we can up the weight. That's the one thing I always say to people, like, don't look at a weight and say you can't do it. At least attempt it, as long as you're being safe. Are you talking about me? I was saying how you said you couldn't move it and you repped it out, didn't you? <laughs> exactly, you gotta try the weights before you, before you like, decide that like, you can't do it. Don't go to the weights defeated. Tis to TJ. All right, I've decided to up the weights, so now I'm gonna spire. Again, you couldn't do it? Yeah, but it's harder than it looks. <laughs> well, duh, it's meant to be hard. If you can do the weight easy, there's no point you being here. And you got what, six reps, one with a spot. That is good. See, that's the rock you should be aiming for. Yeah. All right, people, I've finished doing the thumbnail to get you guys to get to watch the content. Oh shit! You know, this is why I like coming to the gym, because the lighting's so much better than my house. It's true, like, at home, I feel like, oh damn, 
I'm not working. Did you put the light in Kija? I, I come to gym for training, but I also come here for the, this part here. Let's you actually have a true depiction of your physique. In my crappy lighting at home, I look like way higher in body fat. Gotcha, I look like I have abs here. Anyways, what I wanted to come to this part of the video is talk about... <laughs> How did we, like, I don't think we fully spoke about, like, you started following me on YouTube, like, what, years ago? Actually, I really wanted to tell the story of mine, but I'm gonna tell you. know I'm both. Your one will probably never come out. She never, <laughs> like I plug her. her Instagram, but never her YouTube, purely because... There's no YouTube. <laughs> because she doesn't film on there. It's gonna be so embarrassing because I told my brother this story. Make sure you wrap it up quick, they don't take forever. I wanted to like. I really love the stories. For those of you who made this far, be sure to hashtag TJ Talks. So I, I, I like knowing how far yeah. people get in the videos. That's quite cute actually. Okay, so basically, you don't know the story either. So I basically, I used to watch TJ on YouTube. This was like back like a year and a half ago to two years ago. And I remember you saying in one of your videos, oh, like hit you up if oh, you, you want to train. train. And this is that he doesn't remember this. The back when I was bigger, I used to I used to have like 200 followers, for example. Oh, so you messaged me first yeah, when you were bigger? Yeah. Oh. So when I was like, oh, okay, I yeah. messaged you and I was like, oh, like I think we should train because like I don't know much about the gym and I was new to the gym and I really want to lose weight. So I was just like, I'm gonna message this guy and ask him if he wants to train because he's from Birmingham and so am I. I messaged him. <laughs> what, is, did, what did I say? You said no. You said yeah. Just tell me when and stuff. You being oh, okay, really cool. nice about well, it. I just want to make sure. It was like two years ago, but then obviously I lost. I got into the gym. Him, lost all the way and then I hit him up again this was last year so I hit TJ up and actually came and I thought this was gonna be like, a, like one session or something oh like one session to gain knowledge about like more about lifting because I was interested in it but we became friends in terms of like for say social media reasons like collaboration you you always say that you get like a lot of my followers that often follow you yeah. on Instagram and comment and, and all that stuff. But I guess that's because they kind of like what I post because I do like I do pretty much the same thing as you now, don't I? Yeah. So and also not to like sorry away from the elephant in the room. A lot of the followers went over to you were male. Oh, so, I get like, this so much. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure it's probably but, 90% male that followed over to you. Some of them are probably nice. Some of them are just watching you because they they want to free. Yeah, you know who you are. So obviously I know that fact. But the whole point is that. For her, it's beneficial in the sense that she grows her social media following. Like, as you said earlier, like, since doing my videos with me, you've shot because, like, people that follow me now follow you as well. Yeah. So that's beneficial for her. In terms of me, I don't really gain, like, say, Instagram followers or really YouTube subscribers from Belle. But where it comes, where beneficial comes into play is that when it comes to YouTube, if you want to play the game correctly, is having a female in your videos increases the views in general because more females will watch because they see a thumbnail and think, oh, there's a girl in there what they're doing and they'll kind of watch and also with everything guys will watch because they just want to pre stuff so um, in that sense I'm not gaining actual subscribers from her following but in terms of overall YouTube that's what makes it beneficial for me and the fact that we get on well yeah you know I what didn't mean? expect that so it's that. mutual beneficial so it's yeah. like crazy benefits but not fucking it's like the benefit is the social media growth I guess yeah okay yeah. What, like the whole point is that it's mutually beneficial, but also that my friends makes it better. If it was just about the, the growing of the following, it, it probably wouldn't happen more than once. Because yeah. if I don't like someone, I don't like getting on with them, I usually will never come to them again because if you watch my videos, you know I like to joke around and banter. If I don't have that with someone, you probably never... But you know what though, after that first time I trained with you, I thought it was going to be one time until I actually started training with you and it was like funny. They were the same sense of humour. Like we get on really... I think it comes across in the vlogs. It depends what you put in though. Yeah. We do get on. Like my followers think we get on really well. Well, my followers think we get on too well. <laughs> it's like, it's one of them ones, isn't it? Yeah, so for those of you who have always asked me like how we've met, did we say in the previous video? I can't remember if we did. Have we? No. But basically, in general, she slid in my DMs. That's basically how it all it happened. Like, you messaged me on obviously Instagram like years and years ago. But that goes to everybody, man. Those people always say they want to train with me, but like, they're always inviting me to like other cities and stuff. Like that is nice for the invite, but realistically, are you gonna pay for the train ticket? No. Exactly. Like <laughs> people like, say, like, yo, we should come down. To, even if it's just Coventry or something, but like. You have to think that okay. I've run like a busy schedule in the sense of my day to day week, YouTube, and, yeah, filming, yeah, work. He works. You, you know, work. people don't realize that I have a 9 to 5 job, so that takes away a lot of time. So when people are saying, yo, come to Coventry and train. I'm like, that's like, that's like just one way, that's 40 minutes, not including traffic, commute, getting to the gym. Then my ticket is like, realistically, the better option is if you come to Emporium. I don't want to sound dickish, but it makes sense. If you ask me to train, then you should come see me. If I ask to train with you, then I'll come to you, if you know what I mean? Yeah. But that goes to anyone. Anyone that comes passing through Birmingham wants to get a session, follow me on Instagram and DM me, and we'll train as long as I see your message in time. And that's all it has to be, man. That's how, that's how she got here. She wouldn't be here if she didn't message me. No, I don't but know then, you like, was. I could have been a real dick. Yeah, if you was a dick, you wouldn't have made, there wouldn't be no other episode too. 
But for those of you that always ask me how to start YouTube or how do you get things going, don't get tips off me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. When it comes to how to start YouTube, just pick up the camera and start vlogging today. Don't give me no excuse about next you week, know next what? month. Just yeah, do it. Yeah, I have an actual camera now. So and she films all, she's filmed many a gym session and not one put on YouTube. Um, but they're all on like Instagram, so. Okay, the, fair enough, you use it on Instagram for some of them, but a lot of them she'll vlog and like talk to the camera. That footage never yeah. sees the light of day. So it's almost like wasted time. You know what, I've actually used, I get really good footage as well, you know. But you I'm don't a, use it. I'm an idiot. Well, I feel like this vlog's probably long enough as it is, but I just thought like that was something um, informative to talk about because because people always ask me this kind of stuff like, oh my god, but I've only got, can we, can we train together, but I've only got 400 subscribers. It doesn't I, matter I don't give a shit me. how many subscribers you have. I may not put you like in the title of the video, but you're going to be in the video, and if you've gone out of your way to see me, I'm not going to just like put you for like three seconds in. If I've trained with you, and I feel like you're a nice person, I'm going to put you in the footage, and I'll give you a chance to plug your shit, and that's how it should be, I personally feel like. Because I know guys, I've travelled to other cities to train with people, and the end footage of the person is like, I either put them, 15 minutes into a vlog where you're That's never going to see him. I've got names uh, I could drop that have been dicks to other bigger cheap, YouTubers too. Cheap, and I'm not going to say that because that's like talking about other viewers in situations. Yeah people, that long talk aside, what I wanted to do is just kind of talk about something as well as a fitness bit. But anyways, if you like the video, be sure to thumbs it up, comment down below because that greatly helps the channel. Obviously you can follow Bell. Uh, but most of all, follow me on Instagram, chilling with TJ, everything's chilling with TJ. Alright, in a bit. Alright, we finally got rid of Bell, so it's just you and me, so we can end the video out. And what I want to say quickly is, for those you made this far, thank you so, so much. It really does mean a lot that you actually listen to the stuff I actually talk about. As well as, like, obviously watching the fitness bits. And also, I just realised what I'm going to call the video. I kind of feel like I've got the greatest title. <laughs> I haven't told it yet. It's going to be Friends with Benefits with, like, a weird question mark and probably an exclamation mark. If not that, then maybe uh, she's leading my DMs. Cause I think... I just looked through some of the footage. I know that those are the two things I said that probably would stood out, and they're both true. That's the funny thing about it. Obviously, it's not fucking, as I said in the video, I think. But um, but yeah, that would, uh, yeah, that would get, that should hopefully get views. So that'd be hilarious, and I'd, I'd love to see like when she pops up on my WhatsApp and was like, "Yo, I've just seen the title. What the fuck?" That'd be hilarious. I like uh, banter. Anyways, people, I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna like end it here. Go home. Hopefully, edit this stuff. Maybe get out for tomorrow because today's Sunday. I feel like it's going to be a hard task, but maybe I can do it. If not, you'll see this on the Tuesday. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video and the banter and the jokes, be sure to thumbs it up, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, stay getting gains, and link in the description for my protein. <laughs> Get 30% off of these bitches in a bit. Cash plan. I hold back sometimes I won't. Sometimes I won't.